took the time to invest in myself and study and it worked out for me. So they created that position because there was actually no security people at the company at all. Oh, wow. Wow. So so you got 76,000 for this first position. So if, if somebody wanted to get into like a PCI role today, like what should they do? So the, the, what type of skills should they focus on? So the, the skills to help mm -hmm. them get in PCI, because most people miss this. Yeah. They automatically think if I'm going to go into cybersecurity, I need to have some kind of technical background, mm -hmm. some coding or some hacking. Like those things are cool, mm -hmm. but they're not required. Right. What's important is attention to detail, mm -hmm. to be able to communicate orally and written. And then the ability to understand audit frameworks, like mm -hmm. reviewing evidence and those type of things. And people with accounting backgrounds or um, traditional office-based backgrounds actually make pretty good transitions in, into the PCI space because it's not very technical. So ultimately, it comes down to having those core skills and then getting a high-level understanding of the standard because um, the PCI space is very unique and the fact that if somebody wanted to become certified, like I want to be what they would call an ISA, which is an internal security assessor, mm -hmm. a person like you or me can't just go buy the training and the certification become certified. Mm -hmm. They have to be hired by a company and then the company has to send and sponsor them to mm -hmm. do it, which means you're going to get the training if you get the job. Got you, got you.